More sailors are leaving Hampton Roads. The USS Gonzales is getting ready to leave Naval Station Norfolk. This is 13 News Now at Noon. I'm Dan Kennedy. And I'm Christina Robinson. 13 News Now reporter Megan Shin was there as sailors got ready to head out to sea. Families like Alexis Elders are saying farewell to sailors on board USS Gonzales. Actually, that's him there. Her husband is taking off for deployment on the guided missile destroyer. This is my first deployment, so um, it's, it's not kind of nerve wracking just getting used to uh, him not being here for a while. The Navy won't say how long sailors like Elder will stay at sea or where they will travel to, but this mother of two has faith her husband will come back. He is in good hands. He's with the United States Navy, so they won't stay in the wrong way. Captain Christopher Schwartz is the commanding officer of the ship. Yeah, I'm excited for our team, our crew. We've uh, worked really hard uh, to prepare for this, and uh, and uh, we're ready to go, ready to answer our nation's call. He says all sailors are ready to conduct ballistic missile defense operations while at sea. The ship is traveling independently, but it is part of Strike Group 12. Out of 300 Navy men and women on board, about 60% of them are deploying for the first time. I'm excited, uh, a little anxious. It's my first deployment, but uh, definitely excited above all. Petty Officer Second Class Ryan Leard says he'll miss his family. It's Everly, Everly Leard. Say hi. Especially his baby girl. Uh, that's the, probably the hardest part for me. But he's saying goodbye like many loved ones, looking forward to a quick return. He's coming back, so we don't say the goodbyes. You know, we'll see you. You know, we'll see you whenever we see you. At Naval Station Norfolk, Megan Shin, 13 News Now.